Welcome everyone to Love My Sheep. I am your host, Miss Lydia, and this may be the last time I am saying that. And no, not that this podcast is necessarily ending at this time, but Lord willing, it will continue into the new year in a new way. I wanted to do a series of year-end episodes, but I think one year-end episode is sufficient. So let's see how the Lord leads in this moment. I have been reflecting on this past year and how uncomfortable this journey was on this platform, the dread before it began, and how challenging season four was beneath the rubble was extremely heavy and it was a heavy time because I was surrounded by so much grief. This has not been a pleasant year for many and discouragement was so heavy for many and I could not do anything but pray at that time. Season six was definitely my easiest season and many major changes took place before and during that season. Obeying God is not easy, especially in the midst of grief. Obeying God is lonely, it is bold, it is uncomfortable, it requires a tremendous amount of faith because it is such a lonely journey. Reflecting on this year and what I've learned in this podcast season is to not rely on comforts, and the dangers in doing so, learning to tune out noises and to continually examine my noises to tune them out. I have learned that endurance is not punishment and knowing when something is to be endured and when it is not. Learning seasons in that. The determination is based on What draws us closer to the Lord and what pulls us away from him? Sometimes we can reach out to people for help and they will not help us. I have learned that is okay too, because not only is God our only true help, but he always provides the appropriate help at his appointed time. He knows better than we do. He sees the big picture and he would never want to lead us astray. So we should not be led by the flesh as there are consequences to that. We can end up on a compromised road as a result and end up imitating things and people, not Christ. Staying close to God is not only crucial, but it is a challenge, especially without the buffers. Silence can be a dangerous place or it can be a safe place, depending on the condition of our hearts and where we are in our grief journeys. I want to thank all of you for journeying with me this year and enduring this podcast, especially through my navigation of this foreign space. I am not sure what your reasons are for tuning in, But I pray that the Lord has been encouraging you in the midst of it. And I pray that you are encouraged to draw closer to God, to trust him more, to desire obedience in all its discomforts as the rewards are invaluable. And though they may not be experienced immediately, the reward is always that we please our creator, our sovereign God and that we desire his glory in all things. In this Advent season, I enjoy journeying through the book of Luke as there are 24 chapters and a chapter a day is far more appetizing than a chocolate a day. And if you don't think so, well, when you grow closer to the Lord, you will understand. 2023 has, and is definitely the year where I have chosen Jesus over many things, over my own ideas, over other people's ideas, over logic. And I pray that you are choosing the same. I want to end this episode 
and this first year of podcasting in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for 2023 in all its challenges it has brought because you were always there, you were always there, and you never change. You are immutable. So thank you that though you may change your mind, you never change your character. May we reflect you in all that we do and desire. I thank you for every listener tuning in and may they be encouraged by you, by your word. And I pray that you will draw them close to you, protect them, heal their brokenness. And may they know the plans that you have for them are good and not to harm them. May they desire a close bond with you. May we all desire that. And Lord, may they know and we know that you desire a close bond with each and every one of us. I thank you for every anointed man and woman of God that are in desperate need of a fresh anointing. I pray, Father God, that you will pour out a fresh anointing upon each and every one of them so they may be rejuvenated by your precious power, by your precious love. May every grieved soul tuning in be soothed and comforted by your presence. May they know how precious they are. And I ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 5. Until next time, until God's appointed time, Know that I love you and the Lord loves you the most.